everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Reviews and Demos. Thanks for clicking on the link. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are hearing a whole lot of racket, sorry about that. That's the uh, the cicada emergence or cicada emergence, depending on how you say it. But we have the uh, cicadas emerging this year, so it's really noisy out here. Um, so we're here today to go over some of the mods I did on the Z9 this year. Um, I've done quite a few, and I have quite a few more to do. So I'll kind of show them to you, tell you how much they cost, and tell you how easy they were to install. Um, if you're not sure what the cicada emergence is, I will show you real quick. So you see these bugs? There's literally billions of them everywhere. Uh, they climb up the walls, they shed their skins, and then they... Uh, they do this every 17 years, but you can see their shells all over the place here. I mean, there is literally millions of them. So that's the noise you're hearing in the trees. And actually, it's much quieter than it was last week. Last week, it was so noisy, you could barely stand to be out here. All right, so back to the Z9. Uh, so mod-wise, I think the last mod I showed you guys was the seat cow uh, I put on here, which I'm really happy with. It looks fantastic was very easy to install uh, the next modification I did was these Puge um, foldable clutch and brake levers uh, they were 75 bucks a piece and I you know did the clutch and the brake front brake and the clutch and you know they're adjustable they're foldable plus they're red and pretty uh, I'll show you a picture of the old ones right here uh, but yeah, they took about uh, 30 minutes to install both of them, maybe 40 minutes. Uh, very easy to do, piece of cake. Now for the Z9, you do have to get the little adapter blocks to get them installed. Um, See, so yeah, I think they were about 140 bucks, 150 bucks for both of them. Uh, very pretty looking. The next thing I did was go around this way. I put a 520 um, chain conversion kit on here. So I got a red chain, and I bought this from, I'll have to, I'll have to put the brand name in text, but I got it from Sport Bike Track Gear. Um, the company's fantastic. The owner's fantastic. And um, they got it out to me quick. There was a little issue getting the front sprocket, but we got that. Uh, the original sprocket was chrome and pretty ugly, so the new sprocket with the nuts, uh, red nuts, looks fantastic, as does the red red uh, chain and I believe the conversion kit with the train chain uh, I want to say it was okay. 140 bucks something like that but I'll, I'll put the price down here or at least in the description uh, the next mod I did was these really cheap um, heel plates I got those on Amazon for 20 bucks which is just awesome the the other ones that were on there were like a like a polished aluminum, but they weren't really polished. They're more like I guess you would call it like a brushed finish. Um, they were pretty ugly, and these red ones just they look great. So that was the next uh, mod I did. Then what I went ahead and did was I bought these red screws from uh, the company's name is Power Bolt, and you can put your bike year and type and all that in there and they have kits to change out the screws now to change anything that's weight bearing you're not going to get too many color options um, anything that's not weight bearing like the fairing bolts screws uh, excuse me the fairing screws there's lots of options uh, they're aluminum screws and they can they could just do a lot more colors so i did all the fairing um, screws and the engine screws you can see they're red as well and you know the windshield I did the windshield kit which looks great um, so the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get rid of these gray panels and make them black with the red screws well let me tell you something to buy those panels um, the casings I should call them from the factory this casing right here is uh, $250 by itself so I decided to skip that for now um, I did get the racing covers for them, and they just didn't cover enough of the gray. So I decided to just leave it as they are, because just the racing covers for the three panels were 250 bucks, 
and they left so much gray exposed I figured they really weren't worth it but what I did find was I found these panels these are the these are the panels that go right here um, they call them the engine covers and I only found them in black from one company called Motorgenic and it's out of Hong Kong. It took about six weeks to get them, but they, they look great. I can't wait to get them on there with the red screws. They're going to look fantastic. Um, the only other way I could get black panels was to buy a complete fairing kit, which obviously I don't need. So that was cool that they had those. So next up is this radiator cover that I got from Amazon. I believe it was 30 or $40 maybe. Uh, you can see it says Z900 on there. It's pretty sharp looking. It kind of protect the radiator fins. And it was cheap, so I figured it would be cool looking. So we'll stick that on there and see what it looks like. That install is going to be a little tougher. I actually got to take some of the fairings off, um, the gas tank covers and stuff like that to get to the screws. So next up, I have the driven grips with the red accents on it. Um, very, very sharp looking. They were $70, and then I bought these driven bar ends, which are also very, very cool looking with the red and black, but here's where I ran into an issue. Um, the way these install do not cover, and I'm going to show you this, they don't cover the end of the bar the way the factory ones do, so I'm actually going to return these, and hopefully with this video I'll be able to show the guys over at Sport Bike Track Gear the issue that I'm having and, and see if they can recommend something that's going to fit better. So uh, I'll show you that. But that's where we're at. I'm going to get all this stuff installed. Um, the grips I may not do today. We'll see. They're going to be a little tougher to do. But I'm trying to get the panels done today and the radiator cover and just do a little video on these bar ends to show you, you know, what the issue I had with them. So, um, get the show on the road i'm not going to video the install uh, i'll just get back with y'all when i'm done here again thanks for watching everybody appreciate it see you in a minute okay so as for these bar ends um and this is kind of more for um i want to send this video to the place where i'm getting my parts which is called sport bike track gear um to kind of explain the issue that i'm having so as you can see, the Kawasaki's bar end is not hollow. Um, it has this rubber thing in there, and as far as I can tell, this thing does not come out. And I've, I've looked it up online, like some message boards and stuff, and basically everybody's saying that it doesn't come out. So when I install the driven bar end, uh, you know, the rubber comes off and all these nuts and washers come off, and there's actually an adapter that goes in there to make it the right size. So anyway, this butts up to the rubber, but as you can see, much of the rubber will still be exposed, the existing rubber there. Um, so it's not, it doesn't look nice. Um, the factory ones end up looking a little better. So uh, yeah, I'm going to send these back, uh, which is a shame because I really like them. So what I'm hoping is... So what I'm hoping is, here's the uh, factory bar end. I'm hoping that the guys over at Sport Bike Track Gear can find something that's hollow on the inside, like this one is. It has a recess that covers that rubber. Um, I haven't... The pictures online, they don't really show all the angles, so you can't tell if they're hollow or not like that. But uh, I'll send this video over to them guys and have them take a look and see if they can recommend something. So that's where I'm at with the bar ends. Uh, the side panels have been installed at this point. You can see the black panel here. Just looks fantastic with the red screws. Way better than the gray one that was in there. Here's the uh, before picture here. And here's after. And you can see it just, it looks, it looks spectacular. Um, they were, the two panels were only 110 bucks from this place in Hong Kong called Motorgenic. Uh, like I said, they were the only place I could find that just sold those two panels. Uh, otherwise, all the other places sold, like, complete fairing kits. So that was a great deal. Um, next, I still have left the radiator kit uh, cover that goes on the radiator here. 
And to get to that, to get to the screws, I got to take these panels off to get to the upper screw holes. So that's going to be a little bit more labor intensive. Uh, obviously, the side panels took about uh, four minutes to install there, a piece of cakes, just two screws on each. Uh, the bar ends are a scratch for now. I still have the grips to do. I kind of want to get better bar ends before I do the grips. Uh, if I can't find the bar ends I want, what I'm going to end up doing possibly is just painting these factory ones. Um, you know, the same red as the Puge levers. So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with everything I've purchased. Again, I'll put links in the description for everything, um, the prices. And hopefully, you know, if you guys have any questions, you know, hit me up in the comments and I can fill you in. Um, the windscreen was an aftermarket Kawasaki windscreen, which is way nicer than the original windscreen. The original windscreen stopped like right here. It was a little tiny. It wasn't even a windscreen. I don't know what it was there for. It basically just covered the, uh, the instruments there. So, see, I think that's about it. The only thing I really still want to do is I want to replace my mirrors at some point with something a little fancier. I'm just having a hard time deciding which ones. And then, like I said, the engine covers, the clutch cover, and the alternator cover, I really want to get them black. Um, eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to afford that and get all those replaced in black. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Like always, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.